My name is Paula Quincy and I am a certified Imago Relationship Therapy Facilitator and Educator and an NLP Practitioner. So I work with individuals and I work with organisations around how to cultivate healthy relationships. In personal lives, it's around relationship with self and then with your partner and family and friends. And in the workplace, it's again relationship with self and then relationships in the workplace. I run a number of workshops and programs for individuals in their personal capacity and then for organisations. The one that um, I'm currently running or working with is called the Man Cave Mastermind Program and that's specifically for men and it's a six month personal growth and transformation program where we go through a set agenda and we work with a number of areas for them in terms of personal growth and development, equipping them with tools and skills and insights that they can apply in both their personal life as well as in the workplace. It's about volatility, it's about uncertainty. Now let's talk volatility. Now when it comes to personal relationships, we know the relationship cycle that our relationships go through and when we get into the power struggle phase, things can be quite volatile. So Man Cave came about with my work that I was doing initially in the individual space where I found a number of guys coming to me in their personal capacity and they weren't quite sure if it, the problem was with them, if it was with their partner, they were being challenged in a number of areas in their life, uh, in the workplace as well and were looking for tools and skills and someone to really just help them navigate what they were experiencing and the challenges they were facing at the time any man basically that is facing a challenge either in their personal world or in their professional world will benefit from the program. There's six sort of themes or topics that we work with throughout the program. It is a six month program and we meet every two weeks and in those two weeks uh, we have themes and topics that we work with such as goal setting, problem solving, creative and innovative thinking. We have personal relationships, work relationships, work-life balance, value systems, and then also leader, uh, mentorship and leadership traits. I always like to say that life is simple, we complicate them, okay? But sometimes life can seem quite complex because there's so much happening. There's so many things going on and we are always busy. We live these busy lives. And I think that being busy is a badge that we like to wear as a badge of honor. I'm so busy, you know, from one person to the next. And at the end of the day, it's well, what are you busy with? Is it stuff that is relevant to your personal life or is it relevant to the business place? And how are you contributing to that? How are you co-creating that busyness in your life? Because it can be quite a fine line between confidence and arrogance. So from a personal perspective, men struggle with their relationships just like women do. Believe it or not, men also feel pain and they also can be sensitive at times. And men can also feel helpless in that, well, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to fix the relationship because men like to be fixers. They like to take care of and solve problems and, and, and make things happy or right again. And so from a personal point of view, it's equipping them with insights and knowledge and tools that they can um, use in their personal life. In the workplace, it, it's a different sort of uh, skill set. It's around being a leader, it's around being a mentor. It's also about finding their place in the working world now that a lot of focus is being put on women and women in the workplace. And what does that mean for men in terms of either coordinating a space that women are now a part of and very much so wanting to have their own careers and climb the corporate ladder and what does that mean for them in terms of their own identity and their own career paths. And there's always going to be ups and downs, there's always going to be an element of the unknown and so we need to become comfortable with change because change is here to stay, it's not going to go away anytime soon and the only way that we are going to navigate that change is first of all sense of self in terms of your own self-worth, your identity and your skill sets and the areas that you are strong in, that you can pursue. What men take away from this workshop is it's such a broad range and the guys have, the feedback has been so amazing on a number of different levels. When the men first come together in the group, in the first couple of sessions, you can see they are a little bit 
sort of hesitant to share, where this is very different. But it's through the shared learning that they feel supported and they realize that they're not the only one that's struggling and going through a tough time, whether it be in their personal life or in the workplace. Something that's just come up mm. um, is, sorry guys, I'm, I'm just excited because, you know, <laughs> where I am in my life, I'm asking very <laughs> difficult questions, so if you don't contain me, I'll shoot. <laughs> um, <laughs> I decided to attend the Man Cave workshop purely because I found that as a male and as a professional, there really isn't an opportunity for us as men to interact. So typically, you know, ladies have got support groups, they've got church groups, whereas with us, we don't have a platform where we actually are able to engage and talk about issues that are facing us as men, especially professionals. What I found valuable about the workshop was the structured manner in which it was presented where you actually go back and you break down your life up to now into what made you what you are today and to actually, you know, realize what you are today is where you came from and not to make the same mistakes going forward because a lot of the mistakes we make were, we didn't know we were making the mistakes, that is how we grew up. So yeah, taking, taking responsibility for your own actions and your own life going forward. It has improved my life in a way that uh, whatever I decide to do, I plan, I look at all the negatives and the positives, and then um, I write down whatever I'm planning to do, and then um, from there, I'll, I'll, I'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah. The biggest improvement I've seen so far is that last week we did the session on relationships. Right? So I'm actually very fond of my family. My wife's my uh, pillar of strength. And we did this whole session on relationships and that one section was communication. And it's all about communication equals connectivity. And it's actually very, very true. If you don't communicate, you're not gonna connect. I think men should consider the Man Cave program because for many years, they've been conditioned that, you know, it's it's not okay to show emotion and it's not okay to talk about your feelings and what you're going through. And the Man Cave provides that supportive place through the shared learning and through the group sharing that they're not alone in the world, that there are other men out there that are struggling with similar issues or the same issues to what they are and how they've worked through it, how they can support each other through it. And then obviously they get support from myself as well.